Hello everyone. Welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about finding the elapsed time in minutes and seconds and estimating the duration of time in minutes. Read and answer the problem. Alexa started her asynchronous model playlist at 8.10 in the morning. If she finished it at 10.45 in the morning, how long did Alexa do her asynchronous model playlist? We can use a number line to solve for the answer. She started at 8.10 in the morning and finished at 10.45 a.m. The scaling in this number line is by 10 minutes. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, plus 5 is 155. So it is 155 minutes. Then we're going to convert 155 minutes to hours. As we all know that, 1 hour is 60 minutes. So 60 plus 60 is 120 plus 35 is 155. Then we're going to make it into hours. 60 is 1 hour plus another 1 hour. That is equal to 2 hours and 35 minutes. We can also subtract to find the answer. In subtracting, we're going to start from the time it finished. That is 10.45 a.m. By the time it started at 8.10 a.m. So, in subtracting time, we're going to start from minutes to hours. From right to left. 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Copy the colon sign. This colon sign separates the hours from minutes. Therefore, Alexa did her asynchronous Moodle playlist for 2 hours and 35 minutes. The length of time that Alexa spent in her asynchronous model playlist called elapsed time. To understand fully our lesson, let's study the following examples. Find the elapsed time shown in the number line below. Our number line is by 5 seconds. So it started at 15 seconds and it ends at 40 seconds. So let's count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The elapsed time is 25 seconds. We can use also subtraction. So time finished at 40 seconds and time started at 15 seconds. So 0 minus 5 cannot be but 1 from 4. 4 becomes 3 and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. This is 25 seconds, the elapsed time. Another example. The scaling in this number line is by 5 minutes. Started at 5 minutes and ends at 55 minutes. So let's count. 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Therefore, the elapsed time is 50 minutes. We can use also subtraction. Time finished at 55 minutes minus 5 minutes time started. So 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Bring down 5. Therefore, the elapsed time is 50 minutes. Our next topic is estimating the elapsed time. 
This is our problem. Jan jogs every day around the park. This morning, he started jogging at 7.12 a.m. and ended at 7.58 a.m. About how long did he jog this morning? To answer this problem, first is we're going to write the actual times, 7.58 and 7.12. If the question start with about, this means that we're going to estimate. So, first is we're going to write the estimated times. 7.58 is closer to 7.60. 7.12 is closer to 7.10. Then let's subtract. 60 minus 10 is equal to 50. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. So, the estimated time is 50 minutes. To know if our estimated time is correct or reasonable, we're going to subtract our actual time. 7.58 minus 7.12. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. 46 is closer to 50. Therefore, Jan jagged for about 50 minutes. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.